Alright guys, uh, this is going to cover, let's see, sections 5 and 6 of the Zen 6 um, VPS tutorial. Just going to show you real quick how to log in to your VPS uh, via SSH and then set up a new domain um, under Apache. Real quick, let's just get started. Uh, I'm using a program called Secure CRT, but you'll be using PuTTY, pretty much the exact same thing. Put in your host name. Um, actually, just use your IP address right here. I'm using uh, sandbox.zen6.com. You use your IP address. Uh, port 22, root is the username. Uh, connect. You're going to get a pop up. It says, Do you want to accept this? Say yes. What's your password? That's going to be in your welcome email. Make this a little bigger for you and clear that out. Alright, we're logged in. If you type ls that lists um, everything in that directory, you should have nothing. First thing you want to do is change directory to home. If I can spell. List that. You'll see there's a public HTML folder in there. We want to go into that. cd public HTML. List that. You'll see domain1.com has already been created for you. That's just an example. You can ignore that. What we need to do is create a new folder for the domain you're going to host. So if you're going to host yourdomain.com, you make a directory with the make directory command yourdomain.com. I'm going to make a folder for sandbox.zen6.com. And if you list it now, you'll see right here that folder's been made. And if you go to sandbox.zen6.com right now, uh, you get the default Apache welcome page. I'm just showing you that what it looks like right now as opposed to what it's going to look like after we act actually put in the vhost um, entry into the Apache config file. Let's go ahead and change the directory into sandbox.sin6.com, um, whatever your domain is there. Let's clear this to make it pretty. List that, there's nothing. One last thing, if you're following the tutorial, seat or make directory www. This is where your files are going to go for your website. So there's nothing there. If you the present working directory command will show you where you're at. I'm in home public HTML sandbox.zen6.com slash www and just for future reference when we reload the the web page there needs to be something there for Apache to uh, give the user. So let's go ahead and make an index.html file real quick. Hi there. That's it. Now what we need to do is do the entry into the uh, config file for Apache so when somebody comes looking for this Apache knows where to look. So you want to do nano slash etc httpd slash conf slash httpd.conf. This is in the tutorial so just copy and paste it. This is the Apache configuration file. We scroll all the way down to the bottom where you're going to see a uh, hashed out um, demo of what you need to do. This is exactly what you need, only the hash marks means the configuration file does not load this part of the file. It's just so you can have an idea of what's going on. So I'm going to copy that, repaste it, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to remove the hashtags, now I'm going to change this so it points to the domain I just added, which is sandbox.zen6.com slash www. Change the server name as well. That's it. Now we want to save it. If you hit control X, it'll pop up this dialog right here. Do you want to save? Uh, hit Y for yes. Enter will override the file. Let's clear it out to make it pretty again. Now we want to restart Apache. Service HTTPD restart. It restarts just fine. Now if we go to the web page again and reload sandbox.zen6.com, Apache says, oh, now I know where to load it from. Hi there. That's all there is to it. Every time you need to add a new domain to your VPS, you will add it uh, to that HTTP um, config file 
and let me show you you would just put it another one right underneath here uh, like this and then change this information to for the second domain make sure you make the folder for it first but that's all there is to it it's really easy um, nothing else really to cover over this if you have any questions uh, just ask but uh, that's it thanks